as they got the win in a laugher against the Rams. We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Milwaukee Brewers. It's Brewers Baseball next on the show. Garrett Cole gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, we're going to get a chance to watch a 20-game winner from last season, and Maybe that's not an easy team. thing to do. He was really good from the beginning of the year all the way through the last month of the season. We'll see if he can have back-to-back -back years like he did last season. And, guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. It's so far so good as they enter play 3-0 on the young season. Yeah, Matty V. Talk about a team on a nice little roll right now, Dero. Start this homestand out. They've won the first three games, and now they open up a new series here. This could be one of those really, really good series. Yeah, and they've been executing, Dan. We were down on the field before the game watching this team take BP, staying within themselves, not trying to do too much. A lot of smiles coming out of this team. And this is swung on and missed on a great pitch that time, and the leadoff man is down on strikes to get this one started. Set to get his Austin. evening at the plate started, Austin Slater. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year, looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled off. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. A swinging strike and now it's 0 and 2. And a fastball called strike three, and the side is retired. Once. Here's Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the pitch. 
Sliced hard, but foul. Look out over there. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Giving Chase his Slater. But he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. Hey, you want to be the team on the attack, without question. And the bottom of the first, starting it off with a leadoff single, gets everyone in your dugout going. Bellinger. Cody Bellinger at the plate now. Lifted in the air to center. Allen has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Time now for a look at the hometown Brewers starting lineup. Who's the one to watch, Dan? Well, Matt, I appreciate the way Bryce Harper plays the game. He's one of those guys you want at the plate in those big game-defining moments. He's such a clutch hitter. I love watching him in those situations, and hopefully we'll have that in this game as well. Here's Joey Gallo now. Lifted down the line in left. After it is Peralta. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper. It was a two-hit effort for him, including a home run in last night's game. He set and the pitch. Not even close on that swing. No balls and a strike. And, fellas, we take a look at the Redbirds entering play here tonight. They come in off to a bit of a slow start with just one win in their first three tries. Yeah, Matty, in this sport at this level, you, you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double. And maybe a tough break as that will freeze the runner at third with two gone. Off the bat, it looked like that might bring their first run of the game across. But those hopes ended quickly when it hopped over the wall. Everyone gets two bases on a ground rule double, so the runner from first is forced to stay at third, and the next guy is going to have to be the one to put them on the board. Peralta on the move. He's got it, and they get out of the jam unscathed. Brewers strand a couple. We are still scoreless. Edwin Encarnacion now, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. Edwin. Hit hard to the right side, but foul. A one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind nothing and two. And set up behind the dish is Clyde Washington, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D. Rowe, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Edwin Encarnacion goes down to become the first out here in the second inning. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0-2. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Hunter Dozier is sent packing for out number two in the inning. First pitch of the at-bat. Brandon Lowe is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Hey, and the beat goes on. That's number eight. The bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Down in... Here's Paul Goldschmidt now. Took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. The first baseman, Paul. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. Now here it comes. And a breaking ball is bounced out towards second. Fielded cleanly. 
And the throw to first is in time, one gun. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that brings up JT Realmuto. First delivery to him on the way. Now a rocket deep down the line in left. And that's off the left field wall. And he'll pull into second with one away. Well, he's certainly not shy, is he? He goes up there looking to be aggressive and takes a big rip right here. Squares it up and lines it for a double that goes all the way to the wall. Great work out of him. In now is Anthony Rendon. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And the runner not going anywhere. Will hold at second base with two away now. The pitcher. Coming Garrett. to the plate now, Garrett Cole. Cole. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. He slaps that one away and the count will be nothing and one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Oh, man, was that a hack. He's trying to create his own run support with a swing like that. Grounded to short. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And a close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. So it's no... So up steps Joey Bart now. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Swing and a miss, and he's in control 0-2. Hey, I get it. You want to be aggressive, but man, these guys are swinging at everything. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. Anytime you get rookies just breaking into the big leagues you have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level and you really have to learn how to slow the game down in your head because everything feels like it's so much faster up here. At the plate Logan Davidson. As he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. He did not play last night but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. High and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The next 0 2. Is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here, and there are two away. The next to bat for St. Louis, Herman Marquez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a miss, 0 and 1. Hey, if you're able to blow a first pitch fastball by a guy, got to believe that pitch is coming again right here. Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Pitch on the way. Struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. Home half of the third coming up, no score. And that brings up Javi Baez. He'll start things out here in a tie ball game. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring forward Cody Bellinger. First pitch coming, here it is. Fouled away. The 
wind up and the 0-1. Oh, look out. Hot shot to third, and there are two away. The right fielder, number 14. Digging Joey. in for his second at bat, Joey Gallo. Gallo. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Out in front of it, strike one. Lined hard toward right center. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What? In now, Greg Allen. He starts off the inning against a guy who struck out the side last inning. How did they get to him here? I'm not sure, Matt, that they want to stay as patient. He's been throwing a lot of strikes. They might want to start swinging a little bit earlier in the count. Oh, and one the count. One strike now from Cole. That's out the corner. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Man, this has been a game filled of a lot of swings and misses. Not very many confident swings. And this team up there, they'd swing at a butterfly right now if it flew in front of the plate. Lots of swings, lots of misses, a lot of ugly at-bats for this team right now. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Greg Allen goes down to become the first out here in the fourth. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0-1. Now the pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Bellinger comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. Now that so stepping in, David Peralta. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but no one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. A count of one ball, one strike to David Peralta. And not a real good cut at that slider, and he's behind one and two. Cardinals have been held out of the hit column here. And he fouls this one off. Again, a one-two. Popped him up. Goldschmidt has room in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Next for Milwaukee, Bryce Harper. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that one swung on and missed 0 and 1. Hey, he's rolling so far in this one as we head in to the middle part of this game. How about 90% of his first pitches have been for strikes? If he continues to do that, he just might finish this one. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. Riding in once again, Nolan Arenado. He flew out in his last at bat. Popped high in the air. Bart is underneath this one. And yeah, that's out number two. And that brings up Paul Goldschmidt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. In there, strike one. Boy, this guy's got it going on right now. He's executing everything. He should feel pretty good. He's retired seven in a row. One and one, the count to the Brewers' first baseman. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing and a little pop-up here right behind home plate. And he'll reach over his head to make the play. And a... Back here in Milwaukee at Miller Park as we check in with Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Cardinals to discuss his thoughts on his lineup so far. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. 
Now that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. All right, Heidi, thank you. And 0-2 count to Edwin Encarnacion. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Stepping up to the plate, Hunter Dozier. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Gallo is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. So digging in now, Brandon Lowe. And then it seems like this starter is just dominating the game right now. Feels like we're seeing a lot of three up, three down innings. No doubt about that, Matt. Hey, I've enjoyed watching him go about his business, but I'm also interested to see if this offense can figure out a way to get a couple of cracks in his armor before it gets too late. Yeah, that remains to be seen. Behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he mentioned they need to show a lot more patience with their at-bats moving forward. He said that although he's not against swinging at the first pitch, today they're doing so way too often and at well-executed pitches. As a result, six of their at-bats have resulted in outs on just the first pitch. Okay, thank you, Heidi. So one gone in the Milwaukee fifth, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Hey, D. Rowe, that's a one-out single right there. Hey, the pitcher hasn't pitched out of this stretch in a while. He's been pretty sharp so far in this one. Yeah, and hopefully that runner right there can get his attention a little bit more. And late reactions, and they got him. To the plate now, Garrett Cole. As he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field, Peralta is there, and it's a three pitch inning as this side. Into the box now, Joey Bart. He'll lead things off against Garrett Cole. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Here's a fastball at the knees. Good spot, good pitch, and it's 0-2. This is one of the things that makes him so effective as a pitcher, able to pound his own with all different options. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Now, now to the plate, Logan Davidson looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded by Rendon. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. So here now is the pitcher, Herman Marquez. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Uh, chased after that one, and it's nothing in one. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Big swing at the knuckle oh, curve gets nothing but air. 0 oh, 2 now. Down 0 oh, 2. Maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. Cardinals pitcher up there with a 1 and 2 count. Man, that's a good take there on that 0 oh, 2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And he struck him out. So it might be time to begin the countdown as he's now gone through six innings without allowing a base hit. One. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Javier Baez will have the opportunity to kick things off as we begin the home sixth. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. At the plate, Cody Bellinger. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Bellinger. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Good spot to be in right now as a hitter. Count your favor, 1 0. Good time to get a fastball and turn it loose. Driven deep. 
at the wall. It is gone. It's a solo homer for Cody Bellinger. First home run of the campaign for him, and they've taken a one-run lead. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed. He's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk, or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. The right field. So that brings up the big bat of Joey Gallo. The swing and left the ball foul off to the left and out of play. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. The 0-1. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Now pitch swung on and foul tipped right off the mask. It sounded like of the home plate umpire, and that cannot feel too good, I wouldn't imagine. Neither guy giving in here, and they'll do it again. Popped him up. Bart will wait on it. And he's got it for out number two. Here's Bryce Harper now. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Shot toward right center. And this is going to find the alley as he might have himself his second double of the ball game. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. Giving Chase his Slater. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end. And now back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Stepping in, Greg Allen. And guys, seventh inning already. Hey, I'm not complaining, but this one's been flying by. Yeah, I'll agree with that, Matt. That's what you get when both starting pitchers have it working. Neither of them have been nibbling around the strike zone at all, and they've trusted their defense to make the plays, and they've done just that. Yeah, and it's resulted in a game that could really go either way in these late innings. And he strikes him out here, so that's out number one here in the seventh as he continues to keep him out of the hit column. Now batting, Austin Slater. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. One out, nobody on. On, could we see another strikeout here? It's 0-2 now. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Got him. So that's the second out of the inning, and he's seven outs away now. Wow, talk about mowing him down. How about two strikeouts Double. on six pitches? Double. Double. He isn't messing around, and these last two batters have had no answer for what he's throwing up there. And a fastball's in there for strike one. swinging strike and now it's 0-2. I think a big reason why he's been so effective in this one that he's been just about getting ahead of every hitter. Seems like every one of them are 0-2, 1-2 and, and it's just about every at bat. And when that's the case, your chances of getting a good pitch to hit are way worse. And he struck him out to retire the side so he's through seven complete still working on a master. Now with the play, Paul Goldschmidt will try and get something started in the home half of the seventh. Hit back up the middle. And there's a base hit, so a chance for some insurance here to start out the home half of the seventh. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. At the plate now, JT Real Muto as he swings and lifts it in the air out to shallow right field. 
It's so important, Mark, to start to make quality pitches. And if you don't, this is what can happen. Two batters, two base hits, first and third, nobody out. Yeah, and you just got to prepare yourself as an offensive player. You're just trying to get the runner in from third. You can't worry about creating a monster inning. Do your job. New pitcher coming on now, the right-hander Yusmero Petit. In previous matchups with Yusmero Petit, he's hitless in three at-bats. Comes set and the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. One there. On to first, so he comes right out of the bullpen and gets the double play. So now the Brewers pitcher, Garrett Cole. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one, but they hold a. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. We're moving right along into this one as we head into the late innings. Listen, if you want to score, you got to have to bunch some hits together, and they haven't been able to do that so far. So hopefully, this leadoff guy, this will be the right guy at the right spot to get something going. And it's fouled away. Looking to send him packing again. And it's one and two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non competitive off speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. And another one. Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking him up. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three now times that. he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Hey, it's really hard to pitch a gem. And what helps? This guy's first pitch strike percentage. How about 100%? can't get any better than that. 1-1. One, one. Well, he's done a real nice job with that breaking ball in this start. That's not the first time he's locked the guy up with it. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Well, a huge out number two here in the eighth. Four yeah, outs remain, but the finish line is starting to come into focus now. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Brandon Lowe. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. In there, 0 and 1. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Down in order go the Cardinals. They still trail 1-0. Grant Dayton is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 75. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Javier Baez. He'll have a new pitcher waiting for him as we begin their half of the eighth. Check swing, but he held up in time. Ball one. Wow, that pitch wasn't even close, and he almost chased it. Found the pitcher. I'm going to expand the zone even more on the next one. Now the 1 0. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. But hold on here now. They quickly requested some time to take a look at the replay, and they may decide to challenge that out call. And indeed, they will elect to challenge the call. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will review the play from all available angles. So here's one last look at that replay from another angle. There has to be indisputable evidence in order to change the call 
And boy, I'll tell you what, I just don't see it there. I'd be pretty surprised if this challenge works out for them in this case. Headsets coming off. Here comes the decision, and he is indeed out as originally called. So they lose the challenge and the ability to use any further challenges for the rest of the game. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Allen is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So right two gone field. now in the Brewers' half of the eighth, and that'll Joey. bring up Joey Gallo. Gallo. Here comes the first pitch. Hard liner to center field. Allen is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Brewer sent back and on just four pitches, but they're on top one to nothing. New inning set to get underway. Now at the plate, Joey Bart. He went down on strikes last time up. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Got him for an even 20 strikeouts now thus far as he's just been flat unhittable. Yet another strikeout for him on the mound. And fellas, this has been one of his favorite victims tonight. That's the third time he sent him packing. So he's got him pretty well figured out. Not that the rest of this lineup has been much better. Into the box, Logan Davidson. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. No hits to this point. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Center fielder on the run. He makes the running play. Two down. Pablo Sandoval will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. And that's inside for a ball. One and oh. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway, says the home plate umpire. And this is swung on and missed, so now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in. And it... Swing and a miss. He's done it. A perfect game. Yeah, you've heard when it rains and pours. Well, it was raining dominance out here in this one. 27 up, 27 down, and he barely broke a sweat half the time. That's one of the rarest feats in all of sports, and I'm just excited I was here to be a part of it. Perfection is always beautiful. our tops player of the game I'd say anytime you throw a perfect game you'd be a pretty strong candidate yeah no need to offer any debate this time all you have to do is look at the box score no hits no walks not even a base runner we talked about his brilliance all game long and you can bet he's going to celebrate this one tonight The final line for a